Today, we're going to walk you through the steps needed to replace the timing chain on a Ford 3.5 or 3.7 liter V6 engine. You'll be using Deco Kit KTC 1339. It includes all the chains, tensioners, guides, and components needed for the job. Before getting started, make sure you have a hold down tool for the secondary chain and camshaft holding tools. The first step is to remove the intake manifold, valve covers, and engine front cover. Rotate the crankshaft clockwise and align the timing marks on the intake variable camshaft timing assemblies as shown. We recommend using a paint pen to highlight the timing marks. We don't need to mark the chain because we are replacing it, but you should note the timing marks on the two cam gears and crank gear. Starting on the left bank, remove the three bolts and the left bank valve train oil tube. Install the camshaft holding tool onto the flats of the camshaft. Now over to the right bank. Remove the three bolts and the valve train oil tube. Using the camshaft holding tool again, maneuver it to hold the flats of the camshaft on this side. Now you'll remove both the left and right bank intake VCT oil control solenoids to help aid in the removal of the primary timing chain. Please note that anytime you remove or install an oil control solenoid on either bank, you may need to slightly twist the valve. Remove the two bolts and the primary timing chain tensioner before taking off the primary chain tensioner arm. Unscrew the two bolts on the lower left bank primary timing chain guide and remove it. With full access, you can now remove the primary timing chain. Set it aside and take off the crankshaft timing chain sprocket. Remove the bolt and the upper left bank primary timing chain guide. Compress the left bank secondary timing chain tensioner with your hand. Insert the hold down tool in the hole on the rear of the tensioner guide. Keep it against the mega cap to retain the tensioner in the collapsed position. Remove and discard the two left bank VCT assembly bolts. These are torque to yield bolts and must be replaced. Take off the two left bank VCT assemblies and the secondary timing chain. Remove the tool, then take off the tensioner lower contact pad. Pull the tensioner up from the cylinder head. Now move to the other side. Hold the right bank secondary timing chain tensioner with your hand and use the hold down tool again, just as you did on the left. Remove and discard the two right bank VCT assembly bolts. Take off the two right bank VCT assemblies and secondary timing chain. Then remove the tool. Now you can easily take off the right bank lower contact pad and tensioner, then the guide. This is a good time to stop and replace the water pump. You'll need Deco part number DP1744. Now you are ready to start installing. Put on the primary timing chain guide and the bolt. Tighten to 89 inch pounds. Before installing the new secondary tensioners, it's important to apply clean engine oil to the O-ring seals and mega cap bore. Push the new right bank secondary timing chain tensioner down until a snap is heard. The tensioner should be seated all the way down the mega cap bore. Install the right bank secondary timing chain tensioner lower pad, then remove the shipping clip. Assemble and align the two cam phasers with the secondary timing chain. Be sure to align the colored links with the timing marks. Position the two right bank VCT assemblies and secondary timing chain onto the camshafts by aligning the holes with the dowel pins in the camshaft. You may need to rotate slightly for everything to seat properly. Install the two right bank bolts and tighten in four steps. Tighten to 30 foot-pounds. Loosen one full turn. Tighten to 18 foot-pounds. Turn an additional 180 degrees. Activate the right bank secondary timing chain tensioner by pressing down on the shoe until it bottoms out. 
Then, let go of the tensioner and it will spring up and put tension on the chain. Now, over to the left bank. Apply clean engine oil to the secondary timing chain tensioner O-ring seals and mega cap bore. Install the tensioner until you hear that snap. Place the lower tensioner pad and then remove and discard the shipping clip. Assemble the two left bank VCT assemblies and the left hand secondary timing chain. Align the colored links with the timing marks. Position them and the secondary timing chain onto the camshafts by aligning the holes with the dowel pins. Install the two new bolts and tighten using the same four steps you did on the right. Tighten to 30 foot-pounds, loosen one full turn, tighten to 18 foot-pounds, turn an additional 180 degrees. Trigger the left bank secondary timing chain tensioner by pressing down on the shoe until it bottoms out. Then, let go of the tensioner and it'll spring up and put tension on the chain. Install the upper left-hand primary timing chain guide and bolt and tighten to 89 inch-pounds. Place the crankshaft timing chain sprocket with the timing mark facing out. Install the primary timing chain with the colored links aligned with the timing marks on the VCT assemblies and the crankshaft sprocket. Then, put on the lower left bank primary timing chain guide and the two bolts and tighten to 89 inch-pounds. Install the primary timing chain tensioner arm, then the tensioner and two bolts. Once tightened to 89 inch-pounds, remove the lock pin. As a post-check, verify all timing mark alignments are correct. The crankshaft sprocket mark should be between the two colored links on the chain, and the timing mark on the left and right bank phasers align with the marked chain links. Once you've double-checked, it's time to install the left bank VCT oil control solenoids. Just like with removal, be careful not to use excessive force, or you could damage the mega cap. It may need a slight twisting motion, but if difficult, look at the bore and solenoids to ensure there are no burrs, sharp edges, or contaminants. Once on, install the bolts and tighten to 71 inch-pounds, and then an additional 20 degrees. Now, move to the right bank VCT oil control solenoids and install them along with their bolts. Tighten them to 71 inch-pounds plus an additional 20 degrees. A couple more steps and you're done. Remove both camshaft holding tools. Now, install the right bank valve train oil tube and bolts and tighten in two stages. Tighten to 71 inch-pounds, turn an additional 45 degrees. Then, install the valve train oil tube on the left bank and tighten to 71 inch-pounds. Then, turn another 45 degrees. Replace the front engine cover, valve cover, and front engine drive components. This job is complete. Great work!